now we'll create a structure and then function model to create a DMS document. So for a structure, let's go to SC11. Here, give a structure name. Here, I'm going to create a structure as zip poet underscore file. You can give any name. And in each case, if you want to store all the incoming request data, then create a table. But I'm creating here a structure. Create a structure. Input file structure for files. Okay, the first field I will take here as a document that is document number, which will be my key field in the OITA service entity. Second field I want as a document type, and the standard domain for that is DOKR, that is document type. Third field here I want as the file name because the input will get a file name with that will create a file on the application server. Next is a file type, whether it is text, PDF, JPG, etc. And for TMS document, we require description and we use the SAP description field that is DKTXT. Next, as our input will be in the format of access string, and for that, the data element we have to use as access string value. And last, in response, I will send as a message. So, I will get my last field as message. I'm going to create as a local object and enhancement category. Can be classified, save and activate the structure okay so structure creation is done so next i want to create a function model so first i will create a function group for that go to sat transition code here select function group let's say z data underscore dms function group z data underscore dms does not exist create object yes Function group for all data DMS. I'm going to save this also as a local object. So here we can see once we click the function group, two includes are created, one is top, and second is function model details. So right click the top level and activate all. Okay, our function group name is z data underscore DMS. Now I will go to S37 to create my function model. And here, like Z DMS underscore create underscore all data. Okay, click on create function group Z all data underscore DMS and function model for creating DMS document. Save mark this. As a remote email function model in attributes tab. Now here, so what I will do as I will pass the importing details, importing file details, and in the same structure, I have one field to document number and message. That's why I will be using changing. Okay, so CS underscore file and my type will be Z data underscore file the structure which I have created. Okay, now first we have to do all the data data declaration. So as in S37, I explained how to create document with BAPI underscore document create two. So here we have to define data declaration for all the details like this document data and this document description table, document files table. Okay, so we have to do data declaration for one, two, and three. And along with this, as my requirement is, I want to store this file on the application server. So for that reason, I also required some binary tables to store the file details. So what I will do, I will copy the data declaration part from my existing function model. You can also create 
based on your requirement, what all the details you required in the function model. So here, first, I have object link table. Currently, I'm not going to use object link table, but description and object files are required. Okay. In case your requirement is to link that document to a customer or to a material, then you have to use object link table also. Okay. So currently important here is this table, local table, object description and the file details. Second, as BAPI returns the error success detail in the return tab, that's why we have to define this table return and like a structure for the same to hold the data at runtime. And this gt underscore pin binary table, first to I will convert the X string into table format. For that, I will use this table name and some local variable which I require at the runtime. Okay, now here we'll start our actual coding. So first my requirement is I want all the fields are mandatory. Okay, all the fields are mandatory. So I have to check whether document type is pass or not, file name, file type, description, and X string. So all these four are mandatory in my function model. So what we have to do here, like if CS underscore file docker is not initial, okay, CS underscore file docker that is document type is not initial and my second field is file name. I want to check all the parameters which are required from BAPI is not initial and my third field is file type is not initial and then I want to check description is not initial and similarly the last field I want to validate whether it is blank or not that is X string in which we'll get the input data in the binary format. Okay, if all these are not initial, then only perform the details. Else, in the message type, just give some message, pass all the required parameters based on your requirement. If you have to pass individual field details in the message type, you can add that also. Save, check and activate. So no error till that. Okay, till this time. So now what is the requirement? First, I want to convert this X string into the binary table format. So for that, you can use the function module. There's a function module called as SC MS underscore X string underscore to underscore binary. So first we'll convert the X string into the binary table format. Okay. In the buffer here we have to pass the X string CS underscore file X string. Okay. And open this importing in the output length. Here I have defined what access info. So in that access info we have one field called component size. If you want to know the file size, you can use here this variable to get the file size. Okay. And in the table, as my requirement is to get the binary data in this table. So I will use this GT underscore binary table, which I have declared here. Fine. The next one is to define the file name. As my requirement is I want to store my file on the application server. So first you have to identify the path on which you want to save the details. So I go to L element. So based on your requirement, you can select any folder on the application server where you want to store the incoming file. So here I'm going to use slash TMP. So that's why I will use this in my code. So my, my next requirement is first to dynamically generate the file name. Okay, so here slash TMP. This will be common because I want to store all the file in this folder. 
and here you have to concatenate the file name which will get in the importing parameter okay into to hold this file name I will define local variable here as lv underscore file name so this local variable I will have a file name the next is to create the file on application server for that use open data set file name lv underscore file name for output in binary mode okay this is syntax when you want to generate a file on the application server now loop at gt underscore bin into a work area which I have defined gs underscore bin that is binary end loop and here in between you have to transfer like transfer gs underscore binary to my file name lv underscore file name and then after this what we'll do we'll close the data set like close data set lv underscore file name so this is a process to generate the file on the application server okay based on this detail based on this file name and this binary data here we are generating the file on the application server so just add some weight up to one second here one second is sufficient and second i want to validate whether the file is created or not on the application server so what i will do here here i will define one more local variable gv underscore flag so after creating the file i want to cross check whether the file is successfully created or not on the application server so i will write open data set lv underscore file name for input in binary method in binary mode okay if psi sub rc equal to 0 if psi sub rc equal to 0 then here I will set the parameter as gv underscore flag equal to x just to validate okay and I will close the data set close data set lv underscore file name now here what I want to do remaining all activity I want to perform if gv underscore flag is not initial else and if so any error while generating the file so we can pass the message okay in the written parameter I write here error while creating file on application server so here I am creating the file on the application server and if it is not created successfully I want to give a written message and now let's see uh, let's assume the file is created on the application server from here we will start our actual coding so first what I want here first you have to pass the document type detail in the other session I have this open this function model the same way which we simulate while testing you have to pass all the details of the BAPI as an input like first is document data okay and for document data I am going to use this ls underscore doc data so here pass all the details ls underscore doc data f1 my first field is document type first field is document type and document type I want to pass from my input file here I will pass document type second field I want here as document version okay and here I just want to pass 0 0 0 next is 
document part and the value for this is 00, zero. and the last one in this structure is what that is status as status external this will be passing the external structure uh, status id here that has shown in the table it is pr the so first structure is there second we have to append the description table so for description we have this local structure lv underscore object description and here description we have to pass from our input file description okay in the description second we have to pass the language we can use a side language here or type e and third field is language underscore iso is all our mandatory which we have to pass en and then append this ls underscore object description to the table lt underscore object description okay so next we have to generate the doc object file table for object file table we have the structure as object file and the first field in this will fill that is a storage category and storage category here I'm going to use DMS underscore C1 underscore ST okay this is my DMS category which I am going to use here in the object files you use this DMS type and same you have to use here okay in case if your requirement is you are using multiple storage category then add that also into the input structure here my storage category is fixed so I'm using as hardcore value and then is created by is si uname the user who is generating this the next on this object file is doc file and here we have to give the file name which was generated that is lv underscore file name and the next one is the application type this is the file type which will get from the importing structure cs underscore file file type whether it is txt pdf etc and then we have to set the check-in status as x so here we mark this check-in equal to as x and then append this file table to the object files append ls underscore object file to lt underscore object files in case if you are generating multiple files in one single DMS document you have to repeat this multiple time with the new file names so like in that way you can generate the multiple files in the same DMS document okay so till now we have filled two table the next what we'll do we'll call our function module that is buppy underscore create buppy underscore document underscore create to and in document data we we'll pass ls underscore doc data then in this destination enter the destination as SAP FT PA and the second one enter SAP HTTP okay and 
here the importing will be like returning parameter so here in the return we'll get the document number and document number i want in the cs underscore file docnar field okay and in case if any errors are there so in that case we'll get the message detail in this return and now open the tables and here first i want to pass the description table that is description document description so here pass the description table that is lt underscore object description object link i'm not using this time and second we have to pass the file table that is lt underscore object files okay and now if it is success that is cs underscore file docnar document number is not initial if it is generated successfully else and if so here we have to call the commit work okay and we'll concatenate one message concatenate like dms document cs underscore file docnar generated successfully into cs underscore file underscore message okay and separated by space and in case if any error while generating a document so in the same message what we'll do like cs underscore cs underscore file message error error while creating the document okay so i will explain the code again first we have done the data declaration part based on our requirement and the very first steps based on the input details document type binary x string first we have to convert that x string into binary table and create a file on the application server based on our required path second like fill the structure and tables like document type file descriptions file names and then call the puppy if object is generated successfully then pass a message in the return string cs underscore file else give the error right so now We'll do a testing. So here, what I will do, as I require an X string. So for testing purpose, I have some dummy data. Later on, I will pass the actual binary data from file. So here, what I will do, I will use some previous generated X string to convert that data. In real time, that will get from the non-SAP system. So just for testing purpose here i have some test data i will use the same so what i want i want to generate text file okay so my document type is z27 and the file name is source.txt the same i'm going to use here so here i will add the same detail in this my document at the z27 file name is let's say create some different file all data underscore all data underscore text dot txt and file type is txt in the description dms document using buppy 
And in X string, we have to pass the binary data or the base 64. Okay, that I will explain while creating, uh, creating the same with the OATA service. So temporarily, I am using one existing binary data which I already have in other function model. And here, we have to pass this binary data. You can convert, you can get the binary data from the net. You can just convert any file and get the binary data. That I will explain while testing the OETA service. Okay, save the variant like test. And before this, what I will do, I will set one breakpoint here to monitor the details. Set one breakpoint here. And here I will select my test data. By passing, we have document, document field, and the message field blank. So if I execute this, the breakpoint is getting open and just press F6, see here size of IC equal to 0 to the document number. So here we can see document number 17289 is created. So if it is success, then we will call the commit work and F8. So in the result, we can see the document number, I will copy this document number. 175.289 is created. My file name was oita underscore text.txt and the message we can see the same. Now let's cross check if the document is actually created or not with the cv 01 n transition code. Go to cv 3 n This is the document number 189. We have to also pass all the remaining details. See here, document, DMS document using BAPI. Check in CD and here we can see the text file and the file name is oleta underscore text.txt. As I use the existing file, which is old file, so we can see the text file is also getting open here. And we'll also check whether we have the same file on the L11 folder or not. I'll sort in descending order. See here. The first using the binary data. The file is created on the application server in the folder which we are given. And after that, we have also cross check the same file with the CV03N. This means that our function model RFC is completely ready. Now, next, we have to create the OETA project and call this RFC in our function model. That we'll see in the next session.